appreciate you on that. And if you'll move with our, what I believe to be our final county case and final case of the night, which is RZ 2016-09. Yes, sir. Thank you. Um, the last case we have us before us this evening is um, a new property owner who wants to take the boundary on their existing property, a uh, zoning boundary that is causing them uh, problems with the construction of a new home, and actually reduce that boundary so that it coincides with the 100-year flood plain and also the wetland boundary on their property. Their aim to do this is so they can actually construct the home a little bit further away from New Stateville. Um, the applicants are here. If you have any questions for them, should they choose to speak, but otherwise, that's the intent, is the conservation zoning line is currently prohibiting them from constructing a house on the current property. And with that modification of the zoning line of about two acres, they will have some additional usable space while still trying to protect the 100-year flood at the wetland area. Ultimately, staff's review of this request resulted in uh, recommendations of approval. Don't have any other updates since our last meeting uh, earlier this week. So the health department's approval just basically on septic tank going forward, that and water? Yes, sir. That's a 25-acre piece. So the health department, to me, I believe they'll have ample room for a septic. And if not, my experience with them is they just won't approve it. So I think they're going to be okay. Any questions from staff regarding this request? Yes, yes. Commissioner Gladden? Was any part of the requested rezone area, does that fall in any of the flood zones? Or? It should not, ma'am. Um, if you look on our aerial, uh, and also the survey might be a backup, um, they're not proposing to rezone any of the flood area or any of the wetland area. Um, you can actually build a home in the flood zone. You cannot build a home in the wetland area, but the flood zone you can. They just chose to skirt those uh, bounds. So the intent is to not rezone any part of that map. And that should be reflected on the aerial map as well as the survey you have in the back. So the aerial map. The area within the dotted yellow and green, is that the area that they're seeking to resume? Yes, ma'am. So how did they come up with that outline? That outline is based on the current green conservation zoning boundary. So the edge of that outline is the current conservation zoning boundary. That conservation zoning doesn't line up perfectly with that 100-year floodplain and that wetland boundary. You cannot build a home in conservation zoning. So they're proposing to change that zoning so on that portion they could build a home if they so chose in that area. So the, the remaining, can you go back to the area? Mm -hmm. So the, the property between the state and the highway and the edge, northern edge of the property, that's not conservation? No ma'am, that's EA zoning. Oh, so they're just extending EA yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. They have a, you know, if the property is 25 acres, they might have seven, I'll say 10 acres of EA zoning. They just would like to have 12, and honestly, they, they may be able to comment on this, but I believe they just want to be able to build a little bit further away from the highway, and that conservation zoning right now is, is not allowing them to do that. Anyone here wishing to speak in favor of this request, please come forward at this time, state your name and address for the record. Anyone here wishing to speak in favor of this request? Um, my name is Jack Shrubford. Um, we're at 1725 Poplar Street, Bremerton, Georgia. Um, as Mr. Adams spoke of, so him and another gentleman in office. All we want to do is extend the line so we can build a home or shop or anything. Right now, I'm kind of limited to what I with my property. I was told that I could not build anything past that point. Not saying I'm old too, but just like have the option. We've had the property for almost a year, so we're taking our time with it. Um, in my mind, I would like to have my house at least three, 350 feet off the, the road. That would put me a little past where I could go. And my property is pretty high and dry. This is kind of an outdated thing. We went through a possible elevation change, mm. but that would be a lengthy process, and this is the easier to do. That's why we're here. Yeah. Any questions for the presenter? Yeah. Thanks, sir. Thank you. Anyone else here wishing to speak in favor of this request? Yeah. There being none, anyone here wishing to speak in denial of this request? There being none. Commissioners, any more discussion on this request from us? And there being none? I will take a motion on this request at this time. 
I just want to recommend approval of the request to the commission. Second. Okay, so we have a motion for approval from Commissioner Paulson. We have a tandem. Second. Commissioner Wallace and Commissioner Willis. So, all in favor, please say five raise your right hand. Ms. Cormella, 6-0. Commissioners, I believe that puts another one in the books for us. 